Okay, so I'm shooting a little short video here about some cheap Chinese Spectra braided line that I bought online from eBay. Now I paid about nine bucks for this stuff and I think it was about maybe four dollars for shipping and handling. So we're talking a total of about fifteen dollars for 500 yards of what's supposed to be 40 pound Dyneema or Spectra braided line. Well, first of all, when I got the package, I was pretty surprised because I look at it and it says PowerPro Spectra. In fact, the packaging is identical to any PowerPro that you'd buy here in a local tackle shop. Zoom in here and you can see that this package actually says made in the USA up in the upper corner, just like a US package would. Yet, this stuff came from China. So, I don't know, but I'm calling fake right off the bat. Now the first thing I did was I thought well I wonder if this stuff actually will hold up. Now it's 40 pound test and I wanted to see what the brake strength was. So I rigged up my own little thing using a couple of weights and tied the line to uh, two rings and then I lifted the weights up just to see about what the braking strength was. I started out with 30 pounds thinking, well, you know, could lift up 30 pounds, that would be okay, it's kind of in the range, it's a little weak, but fair. Well, much to my surprise, the line broke right in the middle, didn't even break at my knots, broke right in the middle at 30 pounds. So then I started to work my way back down to see exactly where this line breaks. And as it turns out, it breaks right at about 20 pounds, or about half the rated test for this particular line. So I'm going to show you my rig real quickly here, and then we're going to do an actual lift test so you can see where the line breaks. First of all, I made up two rings here with a short piece of this Spectra or Dyneema fiber between it. The two knots are basically double surgeon's loops, and then they're hooked through the rings. The rings are perfectly smooth, so there's no chance of dinging or something like that. Then over here, you can see that I have a 15 pound weight and I have a 5 pound weight for a total of 20 pounds. And what we're going to do next is loop one of these rings through that loop there and then I'm going to lift it off the table and show you that in fact this line will break at 20 pounds. So hold on just a second while I get set up. Alright, so now you see that I have the ring looped through the cord going around the total of 20 pound weight here and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to slowly start lifting it up off the table. Boom! And so there you go. You can see that it broke right as I pulled the 20 pounds right off the table probably at about 18 or 19 pounds and then when I did that just last little inch the whole shebang came crashing back down. And I'm going to show you, just so you know, look right there, and you can see that I have a tag end right there that went to the main line. So it was the main line that broke. It wasn't my knot that broke. It wasn't anything around the ring that broke. It was the actual line itself. So there we have it. Cheap spectral line from China, rated 40 pound test, breaking right on my table.